Hey guys, welcome back to my training. My training, I'm going to be teaching you how to create an online banking website with three code transfer feature. Right? You're going to love this um, online banking website. I'm going to show you how to create today because it's very mobile responsive, it's sleek, and uh, it has three transfer code means that you can make transfer, international transfer, local transfer, and then domestic uh, transfer. It also has what we call PIN authentication. Before you log into the bank, you must authenticate with your PIN. That is to say, you must create a PIN before you can log in. And it has email notification and many, many other features that you're going to like, right? So like I usually say, before you create any kind of website like this, before you create this kind of website, you have to purchase the domain name and host it, right? So you have to purchase the domain name and host it. And I highly recommend uh, Namecheap and uh, Bluehost. Click on login from here. And then from the login area, it's going to take us where you can you see that? So it's going to ask us to register. So I'm going to click on register. You see that? It's going to ask us to sign up right here. Can you see that? So I'm going to sign up. So I'm just going to upload my picture. So I can click step one. Take me back to step one. Then I'll click on this. It's going to upload right here. Can you see that? So I'm going to put this guy right here. And I'm also going to click on next. Take me to step two. So I'm going to put my password. So you're going to create your pin you also need this pin to log in right so i'm going to click click with the pin and i'm going to put my phone number i'm going to put my date to see the format so 12 12 98 so i'm going to put my gender i can say male or female whatever i like so my account type i say checking i click on next then my address, I'm going to put right, so I'm going to put my zip code, I'm going to put my state, and I'm going to put my country, right, so I'm going to click on register an account. So immediately you register an account, so you're going to see what's going to happen on this side right here. So you're going to see, can you see that your account, right, have been, um, created right so this is the admin i told you how to get to the admin so uh, let us refresh this admin and let us use our username and password that we have created for this admin to log into the admin so this is going to be admin and this is going to be the password can you see that so this is going to click on log me in so when we log in you're going to see awesome this log us in right so this is the administrative part of this website right this is the administrative part of this website so now that we have come in to the administrative part on this website for us to see account you go to account details right you go to account details so you're going to see the registration that we just did this is the registration that we just did on this side can you see that if we also go to user details we are going to see uh, the user right here on this email you're going to see that it's inactive right so if you want to delete a user you just delete just like this guy here i want to delete so you delete that and that user is off you want to delete the user you just click on delete and that user is off right if you want to deactivate the user you click on this and that user will be deactivated so when the user is deactivated the user will not be able to perform transaction so but let's activate this user. i click on this inactive and i click on ok also my user that this user is already activated so if i click on this email it's going to just take me to this user's email and i can check this user's email here so let's go to account details again so this is the user can you see that and the user has zero money here yeah? and you can see transfer is disabled so you can also have a user and disable is transfer right you can also see the statement of the user's account right here so let's enable this user so you know, enable awesome my user transfer has been what activated so let's click on this account number so we're on this account number so we're just going to select credit account so we want to credit this account so how much do you want to credit this account you want to credit this account with a uh, one thousand dollars so if you type one thousand Okay, let's say one thousand five hundred dollars it's gonna show like that right date of transfer so you can actually validate your date so if you put any date you want here you see that you can put any of the dates you want there right so uh you put um account one day right so we're gonna proceed to transaction so you're gonna see what's gonna happen one thousand five hundred dollars have been added to this account can you see that 1500 added to this account then you see the task code for this uh you see that so if you want to change the task code you can change the task code right here and you click on modify task code 
So the task code is applied for that. If you want to change your COT code, uh, you click on modify COT code. Can you see that? You click on modify COT code, you can just change that. And you want to change your IMF code, you click on modify your IMF code. So can you see that? Modify. Alright, so these are the details that you need. So now we have successfully created an account on this website. So um, that means we already have an account on this website, right? We already have an account on this website. So um, report not spam, not spam, so that we can get messages from these guys from our inbox, our inbox, right? So now we have already founded an account, right? We have already founded an account. So we have already created and founded an account on this site. So let's go right here and log into this site as a user, right? So let's log into this site as a user now. So I'm going to log in. So let's log into this site as a user. So I'm going to log in to this site as a user. So don't forget um, my account um, my account number has been given to me. So let's go to the admin. Let me just get my account number from the admin. Let's close this. Uh, let's go to account details. So this is the account number that was given automatically. The account number is sent to the user. So this is the account number and this is my password. I'm going to click on next. Awesome. Can you see that? Click on next and it's asking me for the pin that I created when I was creating the account. Right? So I'm going to put a pin. So I'm going to log in. So if you put the wrong pin, it's not going to log you in. Can you see that? If you put the wrong pin, it's not going to log you in. Right? So don't also forget, you see that this is showing first not and credit. So when you go to the East index file, you change this first not and credit, right? And if you see this place here to is showing uh, Union Bank and Trust, so you have to change all of this information to your personal information. Awesome. Can you see that this has been changed? So this is so, so powerful. Can you see that? And you can see the statement of this account. See that uh, the account was funded. Can you see that? And then um, you can click on view statements, right? So you can see that the account was funded and you can download this the statement of this account in PDF, right? And you can go to my account, you can see your account summary. Can you see that? It's powerful. Go to my account, you can see your account details. Can you see that? These are your account details. So this is so, so powerful and it has language that you can change the languages and you can see your picture showing right here. This is so powerful and you can see the fund transfer. You can see ATM, view ATM and you can request for a new ATM credit card and you can even do loan application right so if you click on this loan application you can actually do loan application so your account number will automatically show here and then uh, you see loan amount right here and then um, you just put how much so let's say you want to request three thousand dollars or thirty thousand dollars you want it to transfer to your account how I many yeah you want it for six months you can click on apply right so when you apply for loan it's going to uh, process that loan for you right this loan uh, processing information is going to be sent to the admin, right? So I'm going to show you the email that this loan information is going to be sent. So can you see that? It's processing loan and um, looking for loan opportunity for you, right? Can you see that? Looking for loan opportunity for you. So uh, it's going to complete 100% and uh, it's going to tell you your request has been received. We'll get back to you shortly, right? So let's do self-service so you can change your password. Can you see that? Uh, you can change your password and you can also uh, change your pin right you can change your password and you can also change your pin awesome so you can see that this is so so powerful so let's check the transfer so let's do something like transfer to other banks or international transfer so I'm gonna click on international transfer Alright, so when I click on international transfer, it's going to bring me to so example. Where am I sending to? I'm sending to what? Uh, receiver Bank, Chase Bank, right? So, what's the receiver's name? Udem Bank. That's who I'm sending to. Receiver's account number, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that's the receiver's account number, and then uh, we are doing international transfer. So, we're going to click on continue. So, it's going to take us to the second step. So, we're going to ask for the routing number. I'm going to put the routing number and I'm going to click on continue. And I'm going to click on continue, right? So you see that it's called out my account number. So I'm about to transfer. I'm going to transfer just $300. Can you see that? So transfer 
for fees. I hear that, so I'm going to click on fund transfer. Awesome, can you see that? So it's going to ask me for the input the task code. So let's go back to the admin to get the task code, right? So um, go to admin. So this is the task code for anyone who is doing transfer, and you can change that. So this is the task code. I'm going to copy this right here. I'm going to copy this right here, and I'm going to put it right here, and I'm going to click on validate. So if the task code is correct, can you see that it's going to authenticate? So it's counting 25 percent get it awesome can you see that awesome can you see that so it's asking for what imf code right so let's go back to the admin again to get the imf code so i'm going to get the imf code from the admin so this imf code i'm going to copy the imf code and um, i'm going to put the imf code here so if that is also correct, and um, it's correct, the uh, transfer will also continue from where it starts. So your authentication, authenticating data, 10% of authentication, 15, 20. So it's just going to run that authentication for you. It is so, so powerful, and I have already spent a lot of time explaining this to you right so let's just finish this up awesome can you see that so it's asking for your cot code right so it's asking for the cot code to finish so let's go to um cot code so this is the cot code i'm going to copy the cot code and then um, i'm going to just put the cot code right here for you i'm going to click on confirm awesome can you see that this is so so powerful this is powerful the user interface is good Awesome, awesome. Can you see that? This is so, so, so powerful. So it's not loading for the 2%. It's loading. So I'm fine progress. 95% and 100%. And it's going to reload this for us again. Can you see that? Awesome. Can you see that? Awesome, awesome. This is so, so awesome. 1200 was transfer. This is the receiver's name. This is the sender's name. Right, and you can see that it's going to take three to five percent days for phone to arrive at the destination account. Can you see that? And you can download this in PDF. Can you see that? You can download that in PDF. So you can also do transfer to other bank, right? So you can test all of these out yourself and see this is a, a very, very, very robust system. And also, adds ATM that you can request for ATM. Can you see that? You can request for ATM. You can select which network visa. Uh, mastercard and all of that though this one is just fictitious can you see that so you can request for atm and you can view your credit cards right you can see that you can view your credit cards this uh credit card information all of these are also fictitious just trying to show you that you can also request for a new card if you don't have a credit card you can do all of that so this is so so powerful when i have taken my time to explain this step by step to you how to get this design for starting to end it so you can see that this is a very very powerful system from the um we just show you from the front design you see that from the front design of this to uh the user design and even to the admin design right from the front design to the user design and to the admin design this is a very very robust and powerful system right here this is a very robust about so for you to get access to this system like i told you you're going to get access to this at the end of this video i'm going to tell you so for you to get access to this system if you're in nigeria you're just going to pay the sum of uh, 50 thousand naira. i'm going to give you access to this file you're going to pay the sum of 50 thousand naira. i'm going to give you access to this file. you can chat me on whatsapp uh, for any support or any modification that you need but you're going to pay for anything that has to do with modification anything that is different from what i am offering you in this but you can also just get this and use this directly to do your work to do your um whatever project you want to do and you are just perfectly okay all you have to do is just follow my step and you get this done